Well, the weather is still frightful, but the holidays are over and it is time to get back to work. What's going on, everybody? This is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet. I am the one man show. I am taking you along for the ride. We're going to hit a thrift store really quickly after the holidays to see if we can find anything to flip on eBay. I did happen to find one pretty amazing piece that normally I would list in my eBay store, but I'm not doing that this time. And I'm going to tell you why that is in just a second. And just like that, the holiday is over and we are back to business. So let's shop till we drop. This first thing here, even for newer sellers, this is a bolo item. This is an item that you wanna keep your eye out for. Even if you're new, brand is Homedics. Model number is HDS-2000. This is like a sleep, I don't know if they call it a sleep therapy machine. So what happens is you turn it on and there's a few different settings of like white noise and everything. And I have a few things working to my advantage here. But they want $6 for it, but it's got the remote, which is huge. And then it even comes with the original manual, which is nice to have on hand. So this is a this is a real item to be on the lookout for. Sales-wise, I think I'm going to list this for $55. I see plenty of them selling and pay no attention to this item that I'm grabbing. I, I did look it up and I didn't see that there was resale value on it, but that Homedic Sleep Therapy Machine, that's definitely a bolo. 55 bucks is where I'm gonna list it at. And then I'm also gonna grab this food jar. This is pretty cool here, this Hydra Peak food jar. Brand new with the tags, obviously. And I see a lot of them listed brand new and they're the 18 ounce size. So I think I have a little bit of an advantage here is I have a little bit of a larger size. So they want $6 for it. I'm gonna list it for $25. I think that's totally fair for the 25 ounces. I've even seen some of the 18 ounce jars that are in brand new condition selling for even more than $25. But I don't know how fast of a seller these items are. There's just not a lot of them listed. I don't know that Hydra Peak is one of those like monster big brands that everybody is looking for, but it's brand new with the tags. And I saw enough of them selling to help push me over the edge, so to speak, to make that purchase. So 25 bucks is totally fair. I actually thought these pencils that I'm about to pick up were pretty cool. And for five bucks, it could have been a great deal, but the resale value was actually very, very low, which is surprising to me. So that's why I always check and double check because you just you just never know. Okay, now for newer resellers uh, and even the experience, a good reminder for experienced resellers too, the Furby market is super hot right now, not just the vintage one. This one's from 2012 and yes, they've marked this one up also. So seven bucks, this should have been priced at 4.99 all day long but I'm still gonna buy it and we're gonna test it when we get home. I've done this before with Furbies and uh, I had the market as an electronic so I can return it if it doesn't work, but I think $25 is gonna be fair. I've seen that exact one sell for 28. I've seen plenty of it sell for 20, plenty of them sell for 25, but there's like 500 that have sold, four to 500 in the last 90 days that are just pink Furbies from 2012. Grab Furbies when you see them and don't be afraid to pay up a little bit. Do I want to pay eight, seven, eight dollars for that thing? Definitely not, but I'm going to because I know it's going to sell. So it's about as close to a guarantee as you can get. And if you're new or you want to turn your inventory over a little bit quicker, that's one of those items that you really want to focus on because the sales velocity is very, very quick right now. Lots of them selling. So in 2023, I think I'm gonna like go through the actual racks, like the static racks in the store, not just the fresh ones that come out, because this continues to happen to me, just falls right into my lap here. And I guess maybe I'm taking advantage of the fact that there's not a lot of people in store, because it's clearly another Patagonia better sweater that I've sourced right off of the static, non-moving, not brand new racks. So this is a, it's almost more purple than it is pink and it's a girl's size 14, 16, 50 bucks easily for this. Even in the kids size, you know, I saw a lot of the men's and the women's in the $50 range when I find them. This is in such fantastic condition, but I am not going to be listing that on my eBay store. And I'm gonna tell you why that is towards the end of the video, so please stay tuned for that. You hear me say often where there is smoke, there is fire, so I need to check the rest of this rack to make sure that there isn't other like Patagonias or like brands that are popular for resale. I didn't see anything on that one, but I moved over a couple of rows and here, here we go again. So this is Tory Sport. This is the Tory Birch brand. 
and some of her active wear, the shoes probably sell a little bit better and maybe the bags than the clothing items do, but this is in really nice shape, save a little bit of a, I don't know what that stain is, so when I get it home, and I haven't done this yet, I'll have to wipe that down a little bit, but what a score. I've seen it sell for 20, I've seen it sell for 40, I think for me, I'm gonna list this for $35. It's a navy blue and white, and I think it's only gonna cost me $5 in this store, so a great size, you know, women's XL. And I, let's face it, I love Tory Burch as a brand, so I think it's just a matter of time, even though it is active wear, you know, it's not one of her signature shoes or uh, her signature bags, but whatever, I'm, I'll take it. That's a, that's a brand I respect and admire, and it's just, it, it sells fast. So we will take that. Next thing here, this is one of the, is this a rack? I can't see what I'm doing here. I think I pulled this off of one of the new racks. So Eddie Bauer, plaid wool vest women's this is an amazing piece and they sell really regularly you can see it's 85 percent wool they sell regularly in the 30 dollar range i feel like it's probably going to cost me five dollars as well i don't remember exactly what some of the prices i pay are on uh, some of these items here so yeah i think this is just one of the fresh racks that came out but keep your eye out for eddie bauer all things eddie bauer because it really is a, still a strong brand for resale and a lot of stores don't really mark Eddie Bauer up, at least not in my area. So pay attention to it. So five bucks into 30, I'll take that all day long. You guys know what it is. And then I'm also gonna grab these shoes. These are uh, a pretty like vibrant color, Nike Epic Reacts. They're a woman's size, what is that, six and a half? And they're in great condition, so check the soles out. Still a little bit translucent towards the toe and the heel on the bottom there. Insoles are like crispy clean. Touch these up a little bit, put 30 bucks on those, they'll cost me five. And we're not doing too bad on a day where there wasn't a ton of staff in the store, so they were moving things in and out very slowly. In fact, the customer base was slow moving. It was just a slow day in general. So to find, you know, five, six, seven really solid items like I did, that's the name of the game. I can't really complain. I, maybe I should have picked up those Minnetonkas. Those looked like they were pretty nice, but I'm gonna pass on them. It's not a big deal. We need to do a couple of things here. We have to get out of here, check out. We need to test that Furby, so we're gonna do that next. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that Patagonia better sweater as we pass all of this donated LuLaRoe. But let's test the Furby first. All right, so I just popped the battery compartment open and I see a little bit of an issue. It's just a small issue that I'm gonna to have to clean a little bit, right? You can see some of this battery corrosion. So some of you have seen me do this before, but for those of you that have not, the only things that I use when I need to clean a battery compartment like this is a little bit of baking soda and water and a Q-tip. You can see right here, it's just a very, very small amount. So I'll take it, I'll dab the Q-tip, I'll wipe this clean, dry it out, and then we're gonna pop the batteries in. So uh, let me turn the camera off, get this clean, and then we'll take a look at it once it is dry. Clearly working. This thing took a lot, actually a lot, more, I don't know how to shut it up. Let me pull one of these out. It took a lot more cleaning than I uh, had anticipated. There were a couple of coils here. This one here looked like it was a little bit fried. And so my first couple of attempts to get these batteries in, nothing was happening. So I had to go back in, wipe them down a little bit more. But as you could see there, this little guy works just fine. So we're going to go ahead and get him listed. There's a little bit better view of what it looks like after I cleaned it out. I didn't really do much to it, but there were a couple of coils that I was worried about here. This one and then this one, they both look, um, I don't know, pretty singed and fried and frayed, but uh, obviously works. All right, the reason I'm not listening to the Patagonia jacket is it's going to one of you as a very small thank you for the channel hitting 10,000 subscribers. We've actually even blown past that. We're well on our way to 20,000 at this point, but I'm giving it away to one of you. So just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the like button on this video, and then leave me a comment. Any comment will do it. I'm gonna pick one of you at random and you will get that jacket as a thank you for 10,000 subscribers. And in 2023, I'll probably be doing many more giveaways. So if you're not a sub, make sure you become a subscriber. As for the trip to the thrift, I spent $39. I think the total listed value is gonna to come to around $250, of course, with the exception of the Patagonia Better Sweater, because it's going to one of you. Brendan here, Dad Planet, the one man show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you again, and we will see you in the next video.